Before we get into the video today, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors, Gnostic TV. Gnostic TV is ancient wisdom reimagined. This is a Netflix for those who are spiritually curious and want a place to go where there is no censorship. I personally am doing a whole series on Gnostic TV called the Esoteric Explorer, where I am providing exclusive content to Gnostic. Gnostic TV is a host to all sorts of different content creators, many of whom are your old favorites. If you would like to check out Gnostic TV, there is a link down in the description box below. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. Um, this video, the full extent of this video is over on Rumble, just because of the topics that we speak about in this episode. As many of you know, or possibly know, for the past few months, I have been going through, or well, I personally have not been going through, but there have been uh, criminal charges filed against a woman um, who was stalking me, according to the state of Florida. And this, I, I've done some shows on this situation, and this story that I have gone through is really a story for, it, it's a story of warning for anybody in any community, especially a community that has some um, high control if personality types will say i'm trying to be careful what i say on you type is c-u-l-t will say which definitely in some of the truther community there are certain corners of the truther community that definitely is a c-u-l-t now the problem is there are so many so many frauds out there in the this community especially on telegram and a lot of them are grifting money from people and convincing people that they are people they are not just to be able to get something from that person and my particular stalker the person that's been charged with stalking me is one of these people she she claims to be a tesla she is not a tesla i personally believe in my personal opinion which we get into in this episode i personally believe that she is schizophrenic um, and I personally believe that she is a very dangerous person. Now, with that being said, I think most people are aware that this person is not mentally there, that she's mentally sick. Um, however, there are some people who still believe her. And of course, that is their prerogative to believe her. But I feel like it is my duty to put my information out just so people can better protect themselves against these fraudsters, against these people who are tricking you. Now, again, I want to reiterate that when we're going into this time of chaos, this time of friction, as many of you know, I am a student of the law of one. And there are two polarities in a third density planet and the law of one. There's the polarity of negative and the polarity of, of positive, service to self and service to others. And I want to remind everybody, looking at that template, that in order to go to the light, in order to go to the positive, every human being has to save him or her own self. To rely on somebody else to save you is a negative, is you choosing to go negative. And also believing that there are certain types of people in this world, particular bloodlines or families that are somehow better than you or somehow have a Christ bloodline, that's all negative polarity. Because in the negative side, there's elitism, there's a pecking order within human beings. But on the positive side, everybody is equal. And everybody takes accountability and self governess for their own actions. And so I really want to encourage each and every person that finds themselves in the truth or community to remember that it doesn't matter what you know. It does not matter what you know. It doesn't matter if you know somebody is bad or good. That doesn't matter. It doesn't define what you know about somebody else about the world around you does not define where your soul goes. All that is supposed to be is a catalyst 
for you to start taking accountability for yourself. What matters is how you behave in the world, the choices that you make, and every choice counts. Every choice is pushing you either into the light or into the darkness. And unfortunately, as the Cassiopeians say, only 3% of the people are actually going to go to the light because so many people have been hoodwinked by these imposters. And so my whole purpose of putting this out there, of being a whistleblower, in a sense for this community, is to hopefully get some people to truly wake up. In my opinion, the truther community, sadly, at this point, is one of the most asleep and hypnotized communities out there. And so I hope that you listen to this story, and I hope that it inspires you to take care of yourself and to stop following these frauds. Stop relying on somebody else to come in and save you and realize that just like at the end of The Wizard of Oz, the power has been within you all along. How could it not? You are a fractal of God. So with that being said, please go ahead and go over to the other platform. Link is down in the description box below. If you are from Norway or France, of course, just send me an email with your country in the subject line and I will send you I'll send you this episode. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day.